Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So we just got the first big trailer for Doctor Who Series 8. It's way longer than all the previous teasers they posted. So this is going to be a full breakdown into darkness. The funny thing is, is I was actually working on a special Dalek Series 8 video whenever this was happening. So I'm going to post that video later. So there'll be like double Doctor Who today. Hello any new people, if you're just finding me for the first time, I do weekly Doctor Who videos. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. I've got a lot of special stuff planned for when episodes actually start, and that's going to be on August 23rd. So trailer time. I know there have been a lot of leaks lately too. If you're one of the people who has read the scripts or seen that black and white episode, please use spoiler tags if you're going to comment on them. I haven't seen the leaks and I haven't read those scripts, so all the rumors that I'm going to be talking about during this trailer are just rumors. I don't consider them spoilery. So this is just going to be a shot for shot breakdown of the stuff we see in the trailer as well as the voiceover. So we start off with a shot of the TARDIS controls in that explosion that we see in all the previous trailers moving through a montage of a new shot of a quarter that we've never seen before. It could be the inside of the TARDIS but I've never seen any passageways in the TARDIS that look like this. There are rumors that Clara and the Doctor will be traveling inside a Dalek in Series 8 so this could be from inside a Dalek. That theory is kind of supported by the appearance of Clara looking like she's in a waking dream that moves through a close-up of a Dalek eye stock. It also kind of reminds me of Dalek Oswin from the Series 7 opener. I just love the sound effects and the way the images pulse too, especially the Dalek. It just makes it sound like a heartbeat. This Clara is the Clara from the Christmas special though. She's got a new haircut in the Series 8 promo pics, so we're not looking at a different version of her. It's the same Clara. The voiceover, Life Returns, is both a play on Dalek life and the Doctor's new life, a la Capaldi. So next we actually get a really good shot of the TARDIS when it's not exploding. It looks exactly like Matt Smith's new TARDIS from the 2012 Christmas special, The Snowman. So this kind of confirms that Peter Capaldi will, for all intents and purposes, have the same TARDIS. I know everyone's been asking about his Sonic too, but here we can see him holding Smith's Sonic, so it seems like he won't be getting a new one anytime soon, maybe in Series 9. One of my favorite parts in this trailer is that voiceover, the Dalek voiceover of life prevailing. Like we're all buzzing because of the Doctor's triumph in the Christmas special and his new set of fancy regenerations, but underneath it, the Dalek is also talking about Dalek life prevailing. The Time Lords and the Daleks are the two most enduring races. It only makes sense that for every victory of the Doctors, the Daleks also achieve some sort of victory. So here's the first full, beautiful shot of Capaldi from actual footage. And he's wearing a tie, which is a nice callback to Tennant. This seems like a temporary costume since he's been revealed to not have any neckwear with his official main Series 8 costume. There have been a lot of behind the scenes pictures from them filming a Victorian London episode, so this might be from that episode. I just love the way he looks, and that hard stare. It seems like everyone is thinking of Capaldi's defining trait as the Doctor so far is his eyes, and right now I agree, just based on these images. It's also the first time we've heard Capaldi acknowledging himself as the Doctor to someone else. This mechanical man seems like he's also from that Victorian episode. There were a lot of rumors that they would be bringing back the clockwork robots from the girl in the fireplace. And I think that this answers that, no, this is not clockwork robots, but it is a robot. The funny thing though is that this bird looking robot reminds me a lot of the clockwork owl from Clash of the Titans, Bubo. Like a Terminator version of Bubo. That can't be good. So yes, clockwork, but it seems like not the clockwork robots that we're used to seeing. Capaldi states that he's over 2,000 years old, which is interesting because it was kind of hard to pinpoint his age after he spent so long on Trenzalore in the Christmas special. The best estimate right now is that he's 2,100 years old. Here's one of the new aliens, and it looks like he's wearing one of the Doctor's spacesuits, so it's possible that he could be friendly. I can't imagine the Doctor just handing out spacesuits to anybody that comes along. No idea which episode this appears in, but it looks like they're in a bank vault, and that new Mrs. Delphox villain character works at a bank in the future, so they might be appearing in the same episode. The different images in this montage of explosions don't necessarily have to be from the same episode, but it's possible that they're all from that future Delphox episode too. The bank story is rumored to be a heist that takes place in the far future, and those containers look fairly futuristic, so this could all be from that episode. Here's a nighttime shot of Victorian London, that rumored first episode. Then the Doctor is talking to Clara about fixing his mistakes. He looks like he's wearing his new costume, even though you can't see the red lining, which is very reminiscent of the third Doctor's cape for any classic Who fans. Clara is also wearing a new leather jacket, so presumably this scene is after things have kind of calmed down, like after the TARDIS stopped crashing at the end of the Christmas special. He says they're going into darkness, and that could mean a couple of things. It could literally mean the void between universes or something like the Medusa Cascade, something outside of normal space. The Doctor has claimed that everything that lived in the void, like the Daleks and the Cybermen, are dead. That was during Doomsday, 
but during Journey's End, we learned that a bunch of people were living in the Medusa Cascade, so they could be playing around with that. It could also be from that rumored Dalek story, them going inside the darkness of a Dalek, like inside a Dalek, magic school bus from hell style. Then we see Madame Vostra pretty much confirming Paternoster Victorian episode. Clara's falling down a shaft, this could be anywhere, TARDIS, Dalek, or somewhere in the future, like some sort of building. Here's my favorite trailer shot, T-Rex in London, fairly self-explanatory. If you look at the background smokestack and some of these hats, it suggests that this is also from that Victorian London episode. Cannot wait for an explanation of why there is a T-Rex in London. I know a lot of people weren't big fans of dinosaurs on a spaceship, but I totally love that story. This shot of the robot is from Mark Gatiss' episode, Robots of Sherwood. Tom Riley plays Robin Hood. I can't wait to see it. It's like a full-on Ren Faire episode of Doctor Who. So if you're a Ren Faire fan, you're going to love this episode. Here's Capaldi on horseback, also in Victorian London. No idea why he's wearing a nightgown. This shot of the atmosphere venting out of the room looks like it's from inside the TARDIS. It could be of another room in the far future, though. Then we see full-on Daleks, cut with a montage that looks like the TARDIS traveling inside the Medusa Cascade, you know, or the void between universes. Right now I'm thinking Medusa Cascade is more likely due to the Davros speech from the last trailer. Plus there's the green highlights. Then we actually see the scene of the Doctor asking Clara if he's a good man. They used the voiceover of this in the last trailer, but it seems way less sinister the way they use it in this scene. So he's probably just asking her genuinely because he's still trying to make sense of his mind after the regeneration. When she says she doesn't know, I'm wondering if that's because of the new personality and she knows the Doctor has changed and isn't quite sure who he is, or if she's realizing that she never really knew the Doctor, at least as well as she thought she did. And that's pretty much it. I'm thinking based on the footage they use, all these trailer scenes are from the first couple of episodes. Again, if you've read those leaked scripts, please use spoiler tags if you're going to comment. But because the Doctor talked about correcting a lot of his mistakes, I'm really wondering if Series 8 is going to deal with a lot of familiar places, you know, even if a lot of the characters change. So in related news, I had that Dalek video that I was finishing as this trailer came, so I'm just going to finish that up and post it in a couple hours. Be sure to subscribe to get that. We're really almost a couple weeks away from the premiere, so if you bought a ticket to the Doctor Who World Tour, please post pictures because it is going to be awesome. Feel free to post them on my Facebook page. There's a link to that in the description. For anyone that does not have a ticket, don't worry, I am expecting another trailer before the premiere, so we will get some new footage. Right now, click here to get that Dalek video, I'll add the annotation as soon as I post it in a little bit, and click here to learn all about Sherlock Series 4. They just dumped a whole bunch of information, so it's really exciting. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys in a little bit, high fives.